Over the centuries, preparing a chicken soup for a loved one during their illness has been a tradition across the globe. Presently, people from various cultures and generations have seen the numerous advantages of chicken soup. In the United States, this is commonly prepared with noodles, while different cultures have their own unique methods. The therapeutic of chicken soup can be traced back to the Roman Empire, but its roots extend even further, reaching back thousands of years to ancient China. During the peak of cold and flu season, it is important to question whether there is any scientific evidence supporting the belief that chicken soup is beneficial. Is it merely a placebo, offering psychological comfort rather than actual therapeutic effects? I am fully acquainted with the chicken soup. The comforting warmth of the broth, combined with the delectable flavors of chicken, vegetables, and noodles, make it an enticing choice. The soup's distinct taste sensations, encompassing elements of sweetness, saltiness, sourness, and bitterness, contribute to its appeal. Amino acids are the building blocks of proteins. Studies show that taste is critical to the healing of chicken soup. Patients with upper respiratory illnesses are suddenly eating less or not eating at all. This is because acute illnesses ignite an inflammatory response that can decrease your appetite. Not feeling like eating means you're unlikely to get the nutrition you need, which is hardly an optimal recipe for immune health and recovery. The taste in chicken soup may help spur a bigger appetite. Participants in one study said they felt hungrier after their first taste of a soup. It may also improve nutrient digestion. Once our brains sense the taste, receptors on our tongues, our bodies prime our digestive tracts to absorb protein more easily. This can reduce gastrointestinal symptoms, which many people experience when they're under the weather. Although most people don't associate upper respiratory infections with gastrointestinal symptoms, research in children has found that the flu virus increased abdominal pain, nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea symptoms. Inflammation is part of the body's natural response to injury or illness. Inflammation occurs when white blood cells migrate to inflamed tissue to assist with healing. When this inflammatory goes in the upper airway, it results in common cold and flu symptoms such as a stuffy or runny nose, sneezing and coughing. Lower white blood cell activity in the nasal passages can reduce inflammation. Chicken soup can lower the number of white blood cells traveling to inflamed tissues. It does this by directly inhibiting the ability of neutrophils, a type of white blood cell, to travel to the inflamed tissue. To truly understand the soothing and healing effects of chicken soup, it's important to consider the soup's ingredients. Not all chicken soups are packed with nutritious healing properties. For instance, the ultra-processed canned versions of chicken soup, both with and without noodles, lack many of the antioxidants found in homemade versions. Most canned versions of chicken soup are nearly devoid of hearty vegetables. The core nutrients in homemade versions of the soup are what set these varieties apart from canned versions. Chicken provides the body with a complete source of protein to combat infection. Vegetables supply a wide array of vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants. If prepared the American way, noodles provide an easily digestible source of carbohydrate that your body uses for energy and recovery. Even the warmth of chicken soup can help. Drinking the liquid and inhaling the vapors increase the temperature of nasal and respiratory passages, which loosens the thick mucus that often accompanies respiratory illnesses. Compared with hot water alone, studies show chicken soup is more effective at loosening mucus. The herbs and spices sometimes used in chicken soup, such as pepper and garlic, also loosen mucus. The broth, which contains water and electrolytes, helps with rehydration. So, to maximize the health benefits of chicken soup, I recommend a homemade variety, which can be prepared with carrots, celery, fresh garlic, herbs, and spices, to name a few ingredients. But if you need a more convenient option, look at the ingredients and nutrition facts label and choose soups with a variety of vegetables over an ultra-processed, nutrient-depleted kind. In short, the science suggests that chicken soup really helps with healing. Grandma was right again. Thank you kindly for your attention. Have a nice day.